Three, two, one. Characteristics of life and unifying themes in life science. The characteristics of life. Living versus non-living things which of these is alive. How can you tell? What about a mushrooms? Mold upon scam. Living versus non-living which of these is alive. Why what about bacteria? Sea urchins? Insects? What do all living things have in common? What do non-living things have in common? Characteristics of life all living things exhibit. 1. Growth and development get bigger, more complex, or develops in some way too. Energy, metabolism, eat, breath, excrete waste. Energy usage 3. Homeostasis. Maintain a relatively controlled internal environment for adaptation adjust over time due to mutation and natural selection which improves survival 5 response to stimuli respond to things in their external environment often as movement 6 organization made of one or more cells with complex structures and chemical processes 7 reproduction generate offspring dna provides the blueprint growth and development every living thing exhibit Growth living organisms increase in size and number of cell cells get bigger and divide to create more cells that is the legs of child grow longer. As osteocytes divide to create new bone cells, enlarging the femur bones development is the process by which an organism becomes a mature adult. A single cell divides to form a cluster. These cells differentiate taken on specific tasks to form specialized tissues, organs, as the number of cells increase, the complexity of the organism increases also. Metabolism Metabolism refers to all the chemical reactions an organism uses to take in and transform energy from the environment. Plants convert solar energy from sunlight into chemical energy. Sugar molecules via photosynthesis fungi and worms take in decaying matter and break down the chemical energy stored in those molecules to provide energy for growth and life. Mammals change the chemical energy stored in plants and other animals into a form of energy called a TP that their cells can use all energy comes from the sun directly or indirectly. Homeostasis The maintenance of a stable level of internal condition is called homeostasis. All living things have mechanisms that regulate their bodies so things stay balanced. E. G. Body Temperature water content, glucose levels, etc. Stay constant even though environmental conditions change metabolic processes are involved in many of these mechanisms. Adaptation and adaptation is an inherited feature that improves an organism's ability to survive. Adaptations can take many forms. A behavior that allows better evasion of predators or protein that functions better at body temperature body structure that allows easier resource gathering, they happen because of mutations random, spontaneous changes in genetic code organisms adaptation, improves likelihood of mutation being reproduced and Lee, a one of mutations are beneficial, the gradual accumulation of adaptations leads to microevolution. Response to stimuli Living things respond to stimulus of physical or chemical change in the environment produces a purposeful response as stimulus can be within or outside the organism. Examples External stimuli Deciduous trees respond to few hours of sunlight by dropping leaves hibernation Lizard's body temperature drops when air cools, so it moves to a sunny rock for warmth. Internal stimuli Your body reacts to a disturbing dream with faster breathing and heart rate, possibly waking you up. A hamster is thirsty, so it gets a drink of water. Responses can be the result of instinct automatic reactions. We're born with eyes blinks, sneezing, startle reflex bird migration, Seed germination, wet dog shaking conditioned response learned behavior hunting skills, reading, Pavlov's dog, movement, 
Movement is a type of response to stimuli. A unicellular organism moves in response to chemical changes outside the cell amoeba exhibits locomotion change in location. Paramecium use cilia to get around a sessile organism such as a plant tans toward the sun change of position phototropism. Movement also occurs inside organisms, within organs, tissues and cells fluids transported up and down plant stems molecules move within and between. Cells fit moved through the intestines. Organizational, living things are composed of one or more microscopic cells. Cells are the smallest units able to perform all the necessary processes to sustain life the size of multi-celled. Organisms depends on the number of cells, not their size in multicellular organisms. Many cells are specialized to perform specific functions. Cells can take in molecular substances from the environment and organize them in complex ways within cells. Organelles carry out specific functions or cells contain DNA which carry information that directs cell processes. Reproduction production of new organisms is essential for the continuation of a species hereditary information DNA is transferred to offspring in one of two ways. Sexual reproduction to parents supply the DNA hereditary information recombines from two organisms of the same species most plants and animals. Asexual reproduction a single parent supplies an original and new organisms are genetically the same bacteria, some plants and algae. Primitive animals worms, sponge, hydro. The unifying themes in life science. Themes of life, basic ideas that apply to all organisms connects many things in the exploration of life. 1. Biological system system has properties functions based on the arrangement and interactions of eta parts together the parts of our body enables us to move example organ system contraction of muscles attached to bones causes movement blood vessels then supply these parts with oxygen and food architecture of muscle one Biological systems ecosystem organisms in the ecosystem require a steady supply of certain chemicals to live plants obtain most of their necessary chemicals from the soil, water and air. Animals acquire most of the chemicals they need by eating plants or other animals. Chemicals are returned to the soil by bacteria and fungi that decompose the wastes and remains. 1. Biological systems interaction of organisms with each other and with the non-living environment put the system in ecosystem biological systems theme applies to all levels of life from the biosphere all the way down to the molecules in cells. 2. The cellular basis of life all organisms are made of cells levels of organization, cell, tissue, organ, system, organism. 2. The cellular basis of life most multicellular organisms have cells that are specialized for different functions. Muscle cells contract and enable us to move enough cells transmit impulses that control our muscles. 2. The cellular basis of life a multicellular organism's development and survival are based on the functions and interactions of its many cells. Cellular basis of life is a theme you will encounter often as you explore the living world. 3. Structure and function. Relationship between structure and function is apparent in the entire organism, and the physiological systems that serve them the structure determine function. Functions reflect structure. Technically, they are inseparable. 3. Structure and function. Aerodynamic shape of the bird's wing. Three, structure and function structure of the bird's bones contributes to the bird's ability to fly inside the bones. An open, honeycomb-like structure provides great strength with little weight. Birds have long extensions of nerve cells that control their flight muscles. These fibers make it possible for the bird's brain to coordinate flying movements. Four, reproduction and inheritance. Like begets like. The offspring inherits units of information called genes from their parents' genus. 
responsible for family resemblance made up of information-rich molecules called DNA. 4. Reproduction and inheritance each cell in the body contains a copy of all DNA that were inherited from our mother and father. When a cell divides, it copies its DNA and passes this genetic information onto each of the two cells it produces. 4. Reproduction and inheritance and humans. An egg cell from the mother fuses with a sperm cell from the father. This results in a fertilized cell containing a combination of DNA from both parents. The inherited DNA directs the transformation of the fertilized egg into a person with his her own eye color, facial features and other characteristics The inherited information in the form of DNA enables organisms to produce their own kind. 5. Environmental interactions No organisms is completely isolated from its surroundings as part of an ecosystem. Each organism interacts continuously with its environment The plants obtain water and nutrients from the soil, carbon dioxide from the air, and energy from sunlight. 5. Environmental interactions The transfer of chemicals between organisms and their environments is a key process in any ecosystem breathing air, drinking water eating food and getting rid of wastes are chemical exchanges with the environment. 5. The environmental interaction sphera is a constant sensing and responding to changes in the environment. The specialized leaf of the Venus flytrap senses the light footsteps of a soon-to-be digested fly. The plant responses by rapidly folding the leaf together. 5. Environmental interaction sphera is a constant sensing and responding to changes in the environment the sun may cause organism to squint bark of an approaching dog causes you to turn your head quickly 6. energy and life moving growing reproducing and other activities of life require energy energy is obtained from chemical reactions sugars fats and other fuel like molecules in the food produce energy 6. Energy and life energy enters the ecosystem as sunlight plants are producers that convert light energy to chemical energy stored in food animals and other consumers obtain their energy in chemical form by eating Gen energy exist in the ecosystem as heat, which all organisms generate as they perform work. 6. Energy and life because all organisms lose energy in the form of heat. An ecosystem cannot recycle energy life on Earth depends on a continuous supply of energy from the sun. 7. Regulation organisms have the ability to regulate their internal conditions. 7. Regulation the ability of mammals and birds to regulate body temperature is another example of homeostasis or steady state different mechanisms enable organisms to regulate their internal environment despite changes in their external environment. 8. Evolution and diversity explains change in organisms over long periods of time. Adaptation allows life forms to acquire new characteristics in response to the environment through the process of natural selection. 8. Evolution and diversity study of evolution is helping health professionals understand how disease causing bacteria become resistant to antibiotic drugs, environmental issues such as water and air pollution are changing how people think about their relationship with the biosphere of population then evolves with its need for survival. 8. Evolution and diversity Darker beetles are more likely to survive longer and reproduce, passing their genes on to more offspring. 8. Evolution and diversity Greek diversity exists among the three domains of living things, bacteria, Archaea and eukarya evolution explains this diversity Charles Darwin and Alfred Wallace worked on the idea of evolution by natural selection. 9. Scientific inquiry involves asking questions about nature and then using observations or experiments f or find possible answers to those questions. 9. Scientific inquiry modern biology is changing humans everyday lives. 10. Science Technology and society technology applies scientific knowledge in new ways. 10. Science 
technology, and society through science. Humans learn about the solution to various problems. Scientific method is able to give direction and pace for every inquiry technology produced. Machinery to lengthen the life of perishable goods. Created by Priscilla Marie B. Pacleo. Thank you for watching.